kind of on a day trip here and I just before going home I just wanted to do a, one more video um, I'm on US 15 north of Frederick on the way back it wasn't really a good place to stop in the mountains where but um, just wanted to add one more idea you know one university 1200 people testing positive I think in Alabama or something let's hope most of them turn out to have no symptoms and if that's true that tells us something but we're not really sure yet what the long-term consequences of this are i think the idea of the paper tests that people do at home and where it's connected to their smartphone and where to go into any business or to go to work or fly or take a train or a bus or anything you have to show on your phone that you're negative which is something we could do in maybe two or three months and that might be the way out of this until we have a really convincing vaccine and as you probably have heard there's some questions about reinfection I hope they really don't matter in the long run too much but that may be the way out of this and if you put that into play it's incredibly intrusive it sounds like it but it might mean everything could go back to normal you'd have about four to six weeks where people wouldn't want to go anywhere because they'd be afraid of being positive but once you know nobody was out and going into anything if they didn't couldn't show they had a negative test the virus would go pretty much go away and even bars and so forth discos even things like that could open again certainly schools could open so it's an idea that i think we need to talk about and i just wanted to mention that 